I'm Leslie Downer. I'm a Japan specialist, uh, a writer, a historian and a geisha expert. And I'm the historical consultant for Northern Ballet's Geisha. I lived in Japan for about 15 years altogether. Um, and I've written quite a lot of books about Japan, both fiction and non-fiction. I've written one book about Geisha. It's called Geisha, The Secret History of a Vanishing World. And to research this book, I went and lived among the Geisha for about six months. I spent a couple of months gradually just being in the Geisha area and then got to know them, they got to know me, they got used to having me around and little by little they started to invite me into their homes and into their world. I'm, I'm very excited to be working with Northern Ballet. I'm part of the Japan community in England and so it's very important to me that the geisha world should be treated with respect. So the word geisha means an arts person. Gay is arts and sha is a person. So it's an artiste. They preserve the traditional arts of Japan, dancing, singing and music. And they first arose out of the pleasure quarters around 1750. The pleasure quarters were the home of the courtesans. Um, and at, so at one point, courtesans themselves were entertainers, but little by little, the job of entertainer was taken over by the geisha. So in the days of Okichi, who's our heroine, the geisha and the courtesans were the most literate women in society. Gradually, the geisha, who were much more modestly dressed and, than the courtesans, began to seem much more chic. By the 19th century, when our ballet takes place, um, they were like celebrities. They were also famous for their spirit. They were witty. They were absolutely not submissive, far from it. And they were famous for their arts. They are strong, brilliant, independent women. Northern Ballet's Geisha is set in the 1850s. It's actually set in 1856. And at that time, there were many, many more Geisha around than there are now. Um, in those days, there was something like 80,000 Geisha. So basically, Geisha were a normal part of life. A Geisha house was where most men would go to relax. And they were like social centers, maybe a bit like pubs. Geisha is based on true events. It's the story of Okichi, um, who was a young girl in the town of Shimoda at the time when the first American Consul General, Townsend Harris, arrived in Japan along with his secretary, Henry Huskin, um, at a time of enormous turmoil when Japan was being forced to open um, by the West. Okichi was given by the local town council to, to Harris to be his um, his, his nurse, his assistant, actually to be his lover. Her legend is the great legend of Shimoda and it's the great legend of the opening of Japan. Japan had been completely closed to the West for more than 200 years. And then American ships arrived and forced the Japanese to open up their country. As a result, the samurai, who were a very militant warrior class, were really angry and outraged by this. One result of this was that Huskin was actually killed, which we see in our ballet. I think it's really important that Northern Ballet is telling the story of Okichi. Ultimately, at heart, it's a tragic story, and it's a story of sisterhood. It's the story of these two young geisha um, who are bonding together to, to deal with this world of men that they find themselves in. <laughs> 